Welcome back guys to Ori and the Blind Forest with our objective to find the Gumon Sill hidden inside the misty woods miles and miles away all the way over the Valley of the Wind. We're actually just going through everywhere kind of picking up specials while we go and traverse along the way. We've got ourselves a ton of ability orbs and levels, life cells and the whatnot. So the collectibles are really coming to us now. So with that said, we're going to keep on grabbing and improving Ori's parameters. More or less checking out everything as we go along as well. So down we go. And now we can defeat you, sir. And if I get up here, I can shoot you without much worry. Or I can keep ground pounding around you and defeat you that way too. So we know there's a trap here. It's a trap. We'll let that come down. Easily pass through now that we know it's coming and try to minimize our deaths a little bit more by saving along the way So we're about to get ourselves another little bit of secret experience. Help me. Help me now As things were definitely going bad there, but experience gain not so bad soul link is ready another little bit of an area checked out Oh, that is a hundred percent for the moon grotto as well. So now we have every single collectible there We don't have to revisit how good is that? So we're being thorough, we're basically getting rid of backtracking later on, so we've got ourselves an interestingly looping area here. We can get down and get some more experience in watery caves along the way. Well this bit is most interesting, I'd have to say, underwater caverns and then leads back round to this point. We've got ourselves gates that require energy here, so let's get rid of that guy. Of course, there was a secret here before, wasn't there? Alright, let's fall on down, because the water doesn't scare us anymore, after all. Is that an ability cell? Well, I'll take that indeed. So, now we've got ourselves another level on top of everything else. So that works out for me quite nicely. But However, we do need ourselves a little bit more energy after this point. Let's hope we can find some somewhere. Just to be able to make it up. Ow, spikes! How dare you spike me? To be honest, it looks like we'd be attaching or getting to that energy door from the other side rather than from this side in general. Wouldn't have the energy to break through at the moment, which is a shame because I'd want to get that up there. So it seems we're going to have to move along a long way yet again. So a little bit of save. Let's check out the overall. It seems like I'm going to have to go up and over to get back if anything so with up and over seeming to be the key I think it's time to use a bit of the power of editing don't you let's get ourselves to around that map stone I think and so we bring ourselves on the hunt for more goodies now that we've moved to that map stone we have ourselves a fair bit of the map to see though up there I'm not sure we're reaching just yet maybe bash can get me there I do not know was there not an ability orb up on high after all we could check it out quickly apart from that we've got caverns downwards caverns all around surely good stuff to get within them but first of all let's save and of course, we've got ourselves two more experience points to use, or ability points. So we can use Rapid Flame, but mainly we want the Ultra Stomp increases radius and damage of Stomp for the time being. So we get ourselves even more powerful and offensive capacity. Well, that said, we'll jump on down and start checking out the way yet again. Thing is, for some of the times, it's going to be quite long since we were last in a place, but what's going on here? Still hunting the light, blinded by hate. That's not good. Is he going to be here to try and attack me as I go through this section? I do not like the thought of that whatsoever. He was definitely up higher. If I go up higher myself, will that lead to doom? Well, there was a ground pound spot here, wasn't there? The problem is, is being able to ground pound it. It doesn't seem to want me to, that's for sure. It's definitely one of those spots, isn't it? All I'm doing is double jumping because I can't reach the height of my jump. There we go, got it. 
Finally. It took a little bit. But we opened ourselves up a passage down there. A shortcut way back through. Is that because if we go up any higher, Mr. Bird will try and get us? I don't like that thought. But it seems like a possibility, you've got to say, doesn't it? I'm not trying to double jump, I'm just trying to jump on that one again! Ah! Alright, it doesn't seem like there's anything that can launch me up to that point from this side. Or is there? Will we get ourselves another ability cell? Though Mr. Monster doesn't seem to be coming at me, so that's always a good thing. Hmm, we could probably break through places like up there now as well. Is that the way we'd want to travel there? Well, it doesn't seem. It just seems that that path's the way we want to go. Whereas up there is later on. Maybe that's why we saw Kuro. Still with that one now earned as well for a little bit of curiosity. We did not get got, so I can't say I'm unhappy with the scenario. Let's continue to jump around. Now that we've unlocked things below us. And check other passageways out. Do we want to defeat you? That's a question. Let's get the energy when we can and then keep on heading to the right in a new area. We've opened up there. Seems that the story is even continuing while we go and explore these kind of areas. We may have upped the power of Bash, but it's not working for me if I don't go into a Bash in the first place. And the radius, but there we go, defeated from range in the end. I do not like that guy at all. It's hard for me to do bash a lot of the time, depending on what we're doing. But considering we're going underwater, well, we know we can breathe it. It looked like it was a secret there then. Let us just quickly delve and save. No monster seemed to be after me. And so was that, what was that experience, wasn't it? I thought it looked like a life cell for a time there. Thing is, I can't really keep track of how much life I've got in general. Okay, so how much do I have at the moment? I have a flat 10. I don't know if that was a life cell we got then or not. I don't think it was, but still, we've got ourselves tons of ability cells at this point in time, so things are going nicely. In fact, don't we have, again, enough experience to do whatever we want? Well, was that an ability cell then? I'm confused. Right, so we have ourselves the power now to get Rapid Flame if we want at this point in time. So, with that said, enhances the radius and attack damage of Charge Flame. Ultra Split Flame we could get to now. We can nearly even get to Triple Jump if we wanted to, which would make things a lot easier for us. Do you know what? I might go for it. Soul Link Efficiency cost is now cut in half, which means we can save for only half of that. So that's good. Two saves per energy. Now we've got ourselves... A bit of a delving into the water yet again. Now, would I really want to defeat you? Or could I have ended up going up higher if I left you alive? Seems to be the way I'm reading it. Oh, not close enough. Right, so we want the spider to be able to launch us up higher. And so we get ourselves to new areas yet again, and gain an ability point. So that worked out quite nicely for us. Apart from that, however, is that a break it using charge flame rock, or that's a break it using something else rock? So maybe from that side as, as a whole? I'm a bit confused about to what side we want to be at this moment. Right, let's break through here. Excuse me, Mr. Spider, you're going away because you hit me. How dare you? Fish has got to go too because we're getting experience. We can breathe underwater so we don't have to worry about anything. Take you down and then find that we've got to ground spawn spots somewhere, someplace, somehow. 
So wait, was one of those little things we were jumping on maybe a ground pound spot? Alright, so we need to go as high as possible here. Didn't quite reach. Did that time right. So we found ourselves a secret area. A little bit of concentration to jump and a life cell has been gained. So we're getting ourselves a ton of stuff from here and that is how we get to that life cell. However, we want to go further up indeed. So, well that's said and done, how do we? It seems I was at the edge of what spider could launch me to. Yeah, I'd say I'm not getting any higher from the spider. So that area seems a bit more sealed off. Maybe I need something more explosive, or maybe I need an ability to be able to bash me through sideways a place like that. Either way, where was this wooden pole? That if I'd have to hope, would break me through into the area below. Definitely a door still there after all, but I haven't seen a smashy bashy post anywhere nearby. So how do I break through that? Is it even a post that's in my it's definitely a post that's in my way. It's too bad we can't see where the mechanism itself goes. Could be something around this point. That one looks most like one. Indeed it is. For wanting to explore, you get yourself a ton of goods, don't you? Alright then, what will we find along this path? Doom and destruction, so yet again, here comes your death counter bets for this episode. How much will I lose this time? Well... It doesn't look like I've got a way to stop the laser? Hmm... Um... What? Wait a second... Am I bashing this down? Yes, I am. So that I kind of had to work out by myself there. A little bit of pause in my speech because sometimes I just need to use that bit that's used for speech for brain as well. Right, so we can break this one down as well. The main problem is actually getting the bash activated. More the point I actually need to jump slower in order to do that. So that one's defeated. I'm going to need to use you, aren't I? Am I? Well, there's a life cell. Another one gained for our troubles, which would dump us down there yet again where we started this episode. I do, at this point in time, have enough energy cells if I can make it over to the other side to get through it. However, I don't think that's probably going to be all that possible. Hmm. I can definitely bash through there though. Were you using for anything? Maybe I can pull you this way and then use you to... Break it for me? I guess that works too. So should we jump back up that path now? I think we shall if we can make it up and out of there however because to be honest it looks like I might not be able to climb that way. Maybe the only way I can go is that way and round. Hmm. Choices, choices. Can I get myself back up and out of that cavern? The spider one, is it not? Huh. Well, do I have to try and go along this way? Well, if I commit to here, then that means I'm committed. To be honest, though, I can actually jump back up there, so... Even with this guy around, let's get rid of him.
Jump over like this, which opens that energy door. My platforming skills! They're marvellous at the moment. Well, they're actually doing quite well for me. And apart from that, we bring ourselves back round to this section without an enemy, though. There's no way we're making it up to there at this point in time. So let's jump back over and basically come back to the start of the game. Soul Link is ready, it may be indeed, but still. Right, so we've got ourselves one goodie we can get there, and then maybe we could get up and check out a little bit more of an area above us now that we've got double jump, thinking about it. An ability cell is up there, but we can't get it from this side. Can't quite reach without an enemy to be able to give me the boost that I need. Or an enemy in here. Well, let's quickly delve down into the water down there. Just because why not? Everything else will be easy to defeat after all, in general. Ow, I got hit. Didn't see that one coming. Right, so down we go. And we'll get ourselves even more experience with a little bit of a cave painting there. Oh, little Ori's, that's for sure. Is this another secret? No. It just looked like we could keep on going. And if I'm right in saying, there's one... Ah, okay, it's underwater over there. So it's a shame we cannot make it up higher than this point. It's too bad we can't drag an enemy with us, in fact. If we could get an enemy to there or something, we could actually do it. Is there anyone to lead on? No, that doesn't seem to be able to take them further onwards, so how do I get up that bit? Taking damage left, right and centre at the moment, but everything's fine, everything's okay. We just get to continue along our path and look for more secrets, so we're coming up to... Or in fact, we just passed another secret for some more water here. We know there's a fish in here that we've tried to challenge before. Hello, you get defeated. Sorry about that. No other secrets hiding around underground. Oh, actually, there is, isn't there? There's a tunnel this way. What's at the end of this tunnel? Well, another life cell. How many of these are there? Well, we kind of can see from the screens that we've now collected 10 out of 12. Our HP values are really quite high at this point in time. How much have we got now? 13? So we keep on gaining and I... Ah, let's dodge. Right. Okay. Can we get up to these points now? The ones that we couldn't at the start? Oh yes, we definitely can! Because now we have the ability to bash and blast him away. So another secret area found. Another ability cell found. Phew, we're getting all the goodies. Now where to? Right, so it seems that way in general, but maybe we can do something here now to be able to make it up to those places. So, goodie collecting continues. Excuse me, sir. I will defeat you. I'll take your experience. We're actually very near to being able to get triple jump. Thank you. That was very handy. Completely the right timing. Now, you I will not defeat just yet. I will just dodge for the time being, or maybe not so. We're going up higher. I can't really defeat anyone at this point in time, if you know what I mean, without... Maybe blocking myself off from further goodies. It seems that everyone is kind of integral to the jumping and the puzzles in this section, doesn't it? Apart from maybe you. So you can go down. So where have we brought ourselves to now? Big open pool of water, an ability cell up on high. And interestingly, blobs above. The thing I'm trying to do is trigger them to bring them on down from their point that they are. Hmm. 
Now, I did not want to make that jump. I did not want to land on that. What I want to do is somehow make that guy respawn. <laughs> this is where a triple jump could help me quite a bit. So an ability cell hovers above me. And I need some way to launch myself up higher. This is something we're going to check out next episode. So we've got ourselves into tons more new areas. Got myself tons more stuff. See if your bet roulette was correct as we end this episode. So join me next time for more Ori and the Blind Forest where we've got a ton of life cells. We're working towards our triple jump which would help us out quite a bit here, wouldn't it? Only one more ability point for that and of course there's an ability orb right there. So will we get it? Will we not? Tune in next time to see. Bye bye.